Hello friends, how are you doing today? I'm your Ramandeep Singh, back with this video on your favorite channel, Ask Coaching. And in this video, I'm going to share samples to some of the most important and common part one, that is introductory questions in the IELTS speaking exam. So let's not waste the time and start today's video. But before I move, I request you to please subscribe my channel, help me to grow more, Never forget to leave some comments at the end of every video as they are a great inspiration for me. So, let's start with today's first topic. Uh. Are there many public holidays in your country? Well, it may sound funny, but India is a land of holidays. There are so many celebrations, festivals, and for all these things, there is always a public holiday in my country. At an average, we have two to three public holidays almost every month. Which is your favorite public holiday and why? Actually, the holiday declared on the festival of Diwali is my favorite because I love to celebrate it with my friends and family and having a holiday on this special occasion allows me to spend more time with my family and friends. What people usually do on public holidays? Um, actually, holidays allow people to relax because they always feel stressed because of their work due to their hectic schedule. So holidays bring a relaxation for them, act as a stress buster for them. So they prefer to be with their families and prefer to pursue the hobbies and do some other activities that give them some mental relaxation that they cannot get on their regular days. According to you, should there be more public holidays? Do people get an opportunity to relax on a holiday, but actually it brings a huge loss to the economy of a nation. So I'm not in the favor of having more public holidays. Do you prefer long or short holidays? Well, I'm a travel loving person and I love to visit far off places. But during short holidays, I really cannot afford to do so. That's the reason why I always prefer long holidays. What do you usually do on weekends? No doubt my weekends are quite different than the weekdays. On weekends, we all family members are free. So we sit together, we watch movies and I also try to cook something special on this day. Uh. Have you ever been to amusement park? Uh, yes, I have been to an amusement park many a times. During my school days, my school had organized many trips to amusement parks. And in the summers especially, I love to visit there with my family as there is a water park nearby. What do you usually do at amusement park? Well, amusement parks have so much to offer. There are so many rides and slides and I enjoy almost everything. But the thing that I enjoy most is the rain dance. Is it expensive in your country to visit amusement park? Uh, yes, I can say to some extent these amusement parks are expensive. At an average, you have to pay somewhere around $20 to get into an amusement park. And to go along with the family, you have to spend a lot of money. And uh, the food in these parks is also very expensive, so it costs a lot. Do you think there should be more amusement parks? Why not? People always look for change in their routine and on weekends especially, they visit these parks with their families where they have a lot of fun as there is a lot of adventure and excitement at these parks. And if such parks are within the proximity where people live, they will definitely show more interest to visit. Are there many forests in your country? Absolutely, there are lots of forests in my country. They are almost everywhere towards the north, east, as well as south. And they are spread over millions of hectares in my country. Is there any threat to forests in your country? Unfortunately, there is a huge threat to forests in my country. 
The forest cover is rapidly shrinking and it is primarily because humans are cutting tree to build their own dwellings or use wood as a raw material. Is there much wildlife in the forest of your country? Actually, there is a wide range of wildlife in my country. Forests provide habitat to all different type of animals such as mammals, reptiles, amphibians and so on. However, the number of most animals is continuously declining. Do people in your country go for jungle safaris? Yes, it is quite common. Jim Corbett is not too far where I live and it is one of the most popular places for people to go for jungle safaris because they want to experience the wildlife in their natural habitat rather than seeing them being captivated in zoos. Why some people avoid such kind of parks? Uh, it is obvious for some as they have the fear that they may be attacked by some wild animals because generally during the wildlife safaris people travel on open jeeps and there have been number of incidents they've been attacked by tigers and lions so for safety reasons I think they prefer to avoid such kind of adventure. And that's it for today's video and I hope you will comfortably follow these questions. Never forget that the first part is actually a great chance for you to cast a positive impression on the examiner. So in the first part, answer very confidently, answer the questions completely and uh, tell the examiner that you are a confident speaker of English language. This is pretty much all for today's video and I will catch you in my next video. Till then, keep on watching your favorite channel.